Many of you probably been waiting for a long time to get a 50 Hz phone attachable thermal from Infinity. Uh, it's finally here, so today we are taking a look at the X Infrared X2, the first 50 Hz USB thermal from Infinity. So now let's see what's inside the box. So the first thing we find here is a small user's manual with basic information about how to install it, how to download the software. Then we have here a nice uh, greetings card. With some contact information on the back. And finally we have here the box containing the X2. In my hand I'm holding the carrying case for the T2 series. And as you can see, the X2 box, the X2 carrying case is slightly larger. At the first glance, I like the T2 series case a little more because it's more compact. But let's see how the camera is. So let's see, mm, looking very nice. As usual, it comes with a USB-C to USB-C extension cable. Feels very good in the hand, made of metal. Also, I have to say this is IP65. So it definitely can survive some outdoor adventure. Build quality is very good. The focus wheel turns very well, has a nice resistance. It's definitely a very nice looking unit. There is a logo, it's not just a sticker. It feels very good in the hand. And as for every outdoor unit, it wouldn't be complete without the Picatinny adapter shell. The shell looks the same as the T2 Pro shell, um, but it will may be different when you receive it. And of course it comes with every little piece for the installation, uh, even the tools are included. Since I don't have at hand the T2 Search, which would be the best to compare side by side, uh, I will have to compare uh, with the T2 Pro. It's not really a fair comparison because the T2, T2 Pro have a slightly more narrow field of view than the uh, X2 and the T2 Search. The 50 Hz on this one, that's a unique feature and the metal, metal housing because every other model have uh, plastic housings. This has a, few, a pure metal housing, makes it more durable and also uh, IP65, which none of the other models have IP65 and none of the other models have 50 Hz. One other thing I noticed that the new uh, X2 is even smaller than the uh, T2 series. I mean the chassis, the casing of the T2 series, as you can see, it's much smaller, the X2. The form factor and the way it looks uh, is the same, but the size is like much smaller. There is like a 2-3 millimeter difference. Now let's take a look at the specifications. Left side is the X2 and right side is the old T2 Search, just to have a comparison with a very similar model. As you can see the specifications are nearly identical. Same lens, same field of view, same sensitivity, same sensor resolution. Everything is the same except the only difference is the X2 is 50 Hz and the T2 Search is 25 Hz. Temperature range is also slightly different minus 20 to plus 50 uh, in case of the X2 and minus 20 to plus 80 in case of the T2 search if the data of the X2 is correct. But the temperature range doesn't mean it cannot measure below or cannot measure further than that. It just means that this temperature range is the specified temperature range where it can keep the specified accuracy, which is plus minus three Celsius. I have also noticed an error in the description, which is the dimensions. On paper, both appears to be equal, but uh, in reality, the X2 is much smaller in size. And the other thing I don't see in the X2 specification is the IP65 rating. But the 50Hz is already a huge deal on its own. 
And just to give you an example for the 50 Hz, on the left side you can see the X2 at 50 Hz and on the right side the T2 Pro at 25 Hz. You can clearly see when there is a quick movement, the 25 Hz side uh, is wobbling, has a jello effect and some ghosting. And on the 50 Hz side this is almost non-existent. It is because the X2 is generating 50 image per second, while every other model is generating only 25. And of course, with only 20 frames per second, uh, you will experience this uh, jello effect, this ghosting, um, which is basically eliminated uh, with the 50 Hz. So you can clearly see the 50 Hz is a huge advantage. As you can see on the specifications, uh, it puts it in a very unique position uh, among the models. And now let's take a look at the new software. So this is the new software for the X2. It has a completely new software now because the X2 is using the same core as the P2. And as you can see on this demonstration, the P2 is working completely fine with this software, with all functions. And that also means that none of the t series models will work with this software. And I'm also certain that they're going to make sure in the future that the P2 is not going to work with this software because the P2 has its own software. So probably it's going to happen with a future update. Now let's go through the color palette. We have the Birdwatch color, white hot, black hot, rainbow, green, and that's all the color palettes. It is probably more than enough for any situation you can encounter. Then you can turn on the reticle. Um, the reticle you can move freely with your finger on the screen or fine adjust it to zero it. And when you restart the app, it will be where you left it. In the menu we can find several options such as uh, picture in picture for example that will display the main camera of your phone and the thermal image simultaneously. Then we have infrared image flip that will basically just turn the screen upside down. In the general menu you can turn off the watermark uh, that means you're not going to have the um, X infrared logo in the upper right corner or upper left corner. As you can see, it's not there anymore. In the theme settings, you can change uh, to be day or night theme or uh, automatic based on the system. Then in the temperature settings, you can turn on temperature measurement. Um, you need to know when you turn on temperature measurement, uh, it will revert back to 25 Hertz, but uh, in exchange, you get uh, quite accurate uh, temperature readings, as you can see it on this demonstration. And when switching back to normal mode, it will also switch back to 50 Hz. You can also record videos, take photos and watch them in the album of the app itself. You can also go to full screen mode just by double tapping the screen. Then you have this clever little bubble menu that you can move around. And when you open it, you will see a menu uh, with different options, such as you can remove and disable and enable different kind of uh, display items or you can open up the menu for uh, fine adjustment and calibration. So if you want a pocket sized thermal camera that can do everything for you, then this is your best choice. Indoor, outdoor, PCB inspection, no problem. And on top of that, the only model that is IP65 and 50 Hz. You cannot go wrong with this model. Good thing that this and every other phone attachable model, you can get with a nice discount. All you have to do is subscribe, and join my Discord server, where you can ask me personally about the discount in a private message. If you are new to Discord uh, and you don't know how to use private message, just write me anywhere uh, to ask how to use it and me or someone else is going to show you and explain to you. And now, until the very end of this video, let's see all kind of test recording with this camera so you can have a better idea uh, what you're going to see in different circumstances such as PCB repair, indoor inspection, outdoors, so thanks for watching this video, clean unbox signing out, see you in the next one.